let's head to the markets now with Will Ebong. I know that the NGX was fluctuating. <laughs> I don't know where it ended. Where did it stop? I did see it uh, just, it, I wouldn't call it a soft landing, but at the 100,000 level. It was, it's not a soft landing. It was still at 100,000 at the time I checked. I don't know if it just flipped back. Yeah, but I know at some point it dropped below 99,000. So I was like, oh my, we've lost that 100K level. But hopefully we, it's sustained at the close of business. Let's just see that in hopefully let's hopefully. keep fingers crossed so we're just beginning with major equities in africa we see the sentiments at intraday were negative now in just ngx traded down at intraday we see down 0.05 percent south africa's gscs intraday was also down 0.12 percent elsewhere egypt's egx is closed for the week thursday but in green territory we see that index up very well on the green 0.72 percent and talking about yesterday's close as thursday's close kenya close Thursday's trading session in negative territory down 0.29%. Now let's dive deeper into intraday activities at the NGX. Ambrose Omodian, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting, joins us. Good afternoon, Ambrose. What stocks are driving trade intraday activities at the NGX, Ambrose? Yeah, it's expected that this is the first uh, trading week of the month of uh, June that goes on to the second half of the year. Seeing the market in uh, observation mode, we are not surprised. Expected that was follow reshuffling and the sort of rotation will continue. No pushing forward in any season. Don't forget that in anywhere in the world, when we are opening any season, market players prepare for that any season because that is the period we expect to see more momentum in the market, also see more liquidity coming in and out, as a result of market reacting to surprise result or also disappointing result. For me, what we are seeing is part of the market. It's part of the dynamics of the market. That means. But, you know, oscillation is what is welcome at any time. But for this afternoon, I will see the market is down. A lot of profit taking in the market because we have seen that the last week of uh, the month of June, the usher end, you know, the second half of the year, as also we have seen an up market. Now, investors or traders are trying to cash out some money to go to other sectors also to put on. The point is that the money is not leaving the market because even the, you know, the inflation rate at is hitting the almost high shows that even when there is increase in interest rate, because of the negative you know, return we are seeing in the physical market, despite yes, the risk there is low, some mm -hmm. investors that understand or trade out that the opportunity in the equity market continue to move from one sector they are looking for where they can make more than 50% return. For example, you know, the last masterclass we did just on Saturday, some stock that we recommend are giving more than 50% in two to three days that we can get in the physical market. For me, for those that want to really make money in the market, they need to invest intelligently by combining their fundamental and technical analysis to make informed investment decisions. I did see at intraday FBN Holdings was really down. Investors taking profit on that stock. That's in the banking sector. But looking in on the banking space and on the environmental, social, and governance space as well, Fidelity Bank has become the first bank to publish its 2023 Climate and Sustainability Report in Nigerian banking industry. How important is this to Fidelity Bank's bottom line as well as the financial landscape? No, for me, like you just say, it's a good news for the, uh, the financial sector and the banking sector generally because it's good that our banks are looking that way to know that it's important of all to preserve our world, our climate. No sustainable, no report that you no know, they are taking you no know, uh, and they kind of uh, taking care of what is around them in terms of green you know, environment and what is happening. For me, it's a good one. And don't forget also that fidelity is a bank that is kind of uh, metaphorizing from a second tier to a first tier bank. All this company that tells investors that a lot of value in fidelity that they can start killing, which are those I think in medium and long term in infidelity. And I believe that other banks also are as full of we've we'll be seeing more reports from that uh, other bank. But this is standard that fidelity is the first one to open the primary market at least for them. We're also seeing the also the first exciting reports coming from this video. For me, it's a signal that investors are thinking long, medium, will look the world because anywhere in the world, whether the economy is in red or in green, it is the bank that drive economic activities. Government cannot do without the banks. The private sector cannot do without the banks. That means as the banks are going into this you know, structure, it tells you that the banks are set to do well. That means every investor that think have long term mind in their you know, in their investment objective, look at the banks like Fidelity that is moving from the frontier in terms of performance. These banks are going to be well in three dividend. That's a lot of potential there. Which other banks are set to tell us what they want to do as regards their market activities? But well, I believe that for 20, between 2024 and 2026, Still a lot of banking activities, but at the end of the day, our banks become robust with the liquidity to drive the economy and also to make more money for investors. That means any long term investor to target good banks, put your part, really is part of them, and invest for long term. 
Thank you so much, Ambrose. We'll keep track on that. We'll keep track on what's happening in the banking space, especially with the environmental and the governance uh, uh, space as well. Thank you so much, Ambrose Omodian, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting, for your perspective on Business Incorporated. Thanks for having me. So let's look at...